Hey, I'll do in the shower burn. I'll make you a preacher man on our being this nerf so rich at TV91. This time, I'm doing another episode of movie reviews. This time, I'm reviewing the Hobbit, the, the Hobbit, the Unexpected Journey. And what, what, how it starts off is, is we're in present day, right before Bilbo goes on his journey, and not Bilbo, Frodo goes on his journey, and Bilbo is starting to write the story of his journey, which is the Hobbit. And what happens is, is Right before this big party is about to happen, Frodo goes to surprise Gandalf, and then Bilbo starts daydreaming of his past, and the Hobbit story begins. And it starts off with uh, Bilbo as a young child, and Gandalf making fireworks for the Hobbits, and then it goes to him uh, in adulthood, and then Gandalf shows back up and tells Bilbo that he's going to come on a journey. And Bilbo doesn't want to have nothing to do with it. And then Gandalf puts a mark on Bilbo's door. That way the dwarves know where to go. And all the dwarves show up, and including the prince. And they convince Bilbo to go with them on their journey. So they start their journey off. And they go. And they're trying to make it back to the Dwarven Kingdom Mountain. That is now ruled and conquered by Smaug. Uh, Smaug. Or Smaug. The dragon. And... He's been asleep for like 600 years or 60 years, something like that. Anyway, uh, the dwarves and Bilbo come across goblins, forts, trolls, the whole nine yards. They come across them. There's a group of trolls that try to eat the, tro uh, eat the dwarves and Bilbo, but they're Gandalf and them is able to get them into the sunlight. They turn to stone, so they're able to get away from them. And then the forts are chasing them throughout the whole movie. And then they come upon a horde of goblins, and the goblins tell the orcs that they have the dwarves. And while this is happening, we, uh, Bilbo meets Smeagol for the first time, and Smeagol has the one ring, and Bilbo finds it after Smeagol drops it, and then Smeagol realizes that he doesn't have the ring anymore, so he's going after Bilbo full force now. And what happens is, is Bilbo puts the ring on and he goes invisible and then he tracks down the dwarves and the prince thinks that Bilbo has done abandon, abandoned them. And Bilbo shows back up and says that he hasn't abandoned them and then the orcs attack again. And the prince is pretty much on death's door and Bilbo comes in and saves him. And then Gandalf Right before this, uh, whispers something to a butterfly, and the butterfly goes to get these giant hawks. And whenever the hawks come down, they take all the dwarves and get them to safety, and they can see the dwarven kingdom mountain now. So they're that close to the mountain, and they see this one little bird flying to the mountain. Well, the bird goes to the mountain, and he's starting to crack open a nut, and in doing so, it awakens Smaug, or Smaug, or whatever his name is, and we see his eye open, and that's the end of the movie. My question for y'all is, now that Smaug has awakened, what's going to happen with that? As always, Rob Brown will make your Brown Army sign out. Guys, you need to be awesome. Just turn up so rich and team in